All right, on to Minmus. Oh, why, why is it started already? That's suspicious. Okay, just just go. Hmm. Was not expecting it to start right away. Well, reasonably well controlled so far. Will we have aerodynamic issues because of the payload ferry? That's what I'm wondering right now. Should I have put fins at the bottom? Have I unlocked fins? <laughs> I, I probably should ask that first. Alright, well, we're definitely past the speed of sound and going through maximum dynamic pressure. Okay, separation interior. Okay, well, I wanted to get rid of the fairing. Maybe I shouldn't yet, though. Okay, fairings now. Ooh, I should have increased the ejection force again. Oh, great. Oh, you know what? I, I wanted to get into that circular orbit with this. Science reward. Oh, I guess I got something. Okay, and then we go to 99 kilometers and round it up. Okay, there we go. Precision orbit-ish. Now, on to Minimus. I think that's too close to it for this off-plane transfer, but let's see. Moon PE and Minimus PE. Well, it's barely a Minimus PE. And another Moon PE. Oh, wait, which one? Maybe, uh, no, this one is just uh, on the way back in. All right, so it's just the Minimus PE. Moon's always jealous of Minmus. Yeah, the start burn in is actually the middle of the burn if you want to do it accurately. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll fix it when we get there. On we go. Okay, we should be in daylight, so let's make sure the solar panels are pointed at the sun. Anyway, I, I probably want to just expend this. Okay. Boop. Boop. The almighty ant engine now. Oh god, what's the burn time? <laughs> I forgot to check on that. What's the... Oh, you're not showing me that right now. I wanted to see the burn time. Oh well. It's long. Okay, it does work during time warp. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Alright, well, let's get our credit for that and see if they want us to land there. Submit. Continue. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. I have yet to see anything that she really needed to tell us. 600 to find the source of a mysterious signal on the surface of Minmus. But I guess we would need a Kerbal for that? I don't know. I don't know whether a probe can do that. But we might as well see where it is. Little Chonker. Hmm. Land a vessel on Minmus with a current mass of over 200 tons. Oh, well, somebody wants that. That's the opposite of what I want to do. But... <laughs> You need to design their smallest model, little chunk. What do you mean smallest? Using a vehicle with a probe core, orbit curve, and an altitude of that with the normal speed of that. So that's a geosynchronous satellite or geosynchronous satellite. That we can do. We'll probably do that along the way with this one. Oh, let's see where this monument is. No, oh, it says Minmus Monument right there. But. I don't think we're in the right orbit right now. And it's dark. We're like completely in the wrong orbit, but it's Minmus, so that's not a problem. We can just go like that. So it doesn't look like we have to go hunting for these monuments. They really uh, try to point them out. 
So if on a quarter of an arc it rotated that much, we'll judge by that. Ah, uh, no. I'll change the camera. I was trying to figure that out. Maybe something like that. Let's try it. It's not like we don't have 4,579 meters per second. <laughs> oh, maybe they fixed the maneuver nodes chasing the markers around? That would be nice. It's more like, which, which planet do we want to go to with this after this? Well, the little reaction wheel isn't great. Getting this down in the right place, so I don't know if it can actually survey this thing. Oh, that looks interesting. I'm not saying it's aliens. But... That thing's totally gotta be aliens, right? I mean, come on. Yep, it's like one of those No Man's Sky monuments or something. I can't actually... Oh, I've got caps lock on? Shoot. No wonders. Is it? It doesn't indicate here when I've got caps lock on. That's a flaw. It should indicate somehow that I've got fine controls on. Crystals. I can't see anything. I should have put lights. I don't even know if this probe can do any science with it. Is it if I land within the spheres or do I have to land on the platform thingy? This is what our solar system needs. Little monuments to find all over the place. See, Arthur C. Clark knew this. I'm off the platform. Ah. Uh, let me just land first. Okay. Well, science reward. Okay. Uh, we're sliding. We're sliding. How deep is this pit? Ah. Uh, okay. It's just a little mound. Okay, um... Is it... Which, which science reward are we talking about here? Uh, okay, cancel. <laughs> You've convinced me it is in a dangerous state, okay. Which seems to be zero now. Okay, it's satisfied with the minus monument. So we got 600 science! And that, uh, you don't have to repeat yourself. They need to work. They, okay, stop. It's the same thing three times. They need to work on Kerry Kerman. Oh no, it's again. It's again. It, it happened. Oh no! Stop. Kerry Kerman's dialogue needs work. Okay, and Duna Monument. Find the source of the mysterious signal on Duna. Well, shucks. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Orbit Kerbin with uh, 64 Mephalox fuel tank and docking port. Hmm. Well, we'll want to exit Kerbin's SOI for that. Um, Do we spend our science or not? Precision propulsion. Nothing is more precise than the than the ant engine. I don't know if I need any more of this to actually do any of the missions. Let's see. Anyway, um, what what's the timing like? Tracking station. Like to get to mid, uh, to Duna. I don't know if our comms are good enough. But I hope our little probe can sit there for a while. We're gonna time warp until we're at the Duna window. Oh, do you have power? You have power! Okay. Alright. Up we go. 
Occasionally, the sun must have hit it. <laughs> On we go to investigate another monument. If we can get there. I don't know if this one ant engine version is powerful enough to do Duna, though. Or have enough comms, I don't know. The ant. Accept no substitutes. We technically already got debris out in Kerbal Orbit. Maybe we should break Minimus Orbit first and then figure it out. Alright, so in terms of Kerbin Orbit, actually the best place to go out would be over here. But that's gonna take a while. So we're gonna go out here, but also add some radial to it probably. Let's see. I need a little gizmo to help us out so that we don't have to... Let me just radial it. I'll force it. Instead of trying to time it, I'm gonna... Ah, that didn't do very well. Okay, let's just do this first. Two days, though. Hmm, maybe we can do it sooner. Does that help anything? Okay, we'll do that. Let's get out of Minmus Orbit. Can this be a successful interplanetary probe? But we don't just have to get to Duna. We have to get to where the monument is. A very specific place in Duna. In Duna's atmosphere in particular, because Duna's atmosphere is going to cause problems for... I can't just maneuver in Duna's atmosphere to get close or anything. I basically think we're going to have to drop straight down at it. I don't know if it's actually going to show me my encounter. Here it does. But then when I'm burning, it doesn't change it. So I have to get rid of that. Create a new one. <laughs> I think we went too far. Okay, well, let me just make a correction. Well, we'll need inclination to hit a spot like that. I guess this is alright for a start. Maybe a little bit more inclination. 3,000 meters per second to work with. Okay, we got that bit. Well, let's just fulfill that. Alright, that was just 40 science. Yes. Pod filled with corn kernels. I don't know where they get this. Did they AI generate the stuff? <laughs> Did they AI generate all the dialogue for her? I don't know. Out of communication range. Uh-oh, I was afraid of this. So our little commutrons aren't good enough. Well, we'll see whether that's actually a thing. Oh, wait. I can't throttle up. Oh, I can do Z, but I can't do left shift. I'll take 380. Okay. No calm that connection. On we go. Well, we're in Duna SOI for the first time, but we can't transmit the science. So it's got to be completely pointless, right? In theory. But then again, we can control the probe. But I'm guessing we can't science with it. And so if we land at the place, it won't matter. But I'll still... Can, I can say that I've landed at it, so there's that. We'll just do it. Not being able to use left shift or, well, maybe, yeah. I can't use left shift or left control to control the throttle. We'll make it hard to land. That's good enough for now. Onward. Capturing. So where is it again? We'll have to wait until it gets under our orbit, I think. Just cut that. Ah, we're too low. I tried to cut it while we were in time warp and it doesn't let me cut the throttle like that. 
Or it didn't there. Hmm, probably it'll come around while we're close to the nighttime side though. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tracking station. <laughs> it's gonna take too long like this. Keeps telling me that I've got no comnet connection. Oh, we can't make a maneuver like that. Well, that's one flaw too. Okay, fine. Be that way. Can I turn it? Hmm, I don't think I can turn it manually. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do that. So, among the things I can't do is I can't... I can use these things, but I can't turn it manually, and I can't throttle. We'll just try and land somewhere. Let me see... Which way is this one? We want to go west. That doesn't give us... We can't really go west. Well, I mean, if we go north... That's west of that marker. So that's okay. We'll waste a lot of fuel, though. And we'll allow for some rotation. I do want to come straight down, so we'll get closer first before dipping into the atmosphere. Okay, well, we'll go a little bit further north. Is that enough time? Not enough time, I don't think. Ah, uh, we're gonna go fast. Oh well. It was a long shot when it doesn't give me full control anyway. Reverse our orbit? Maybe we can reverse our orbit and go backwards. Okay. Ah, uh, that's too much. Well, we'll try it. 730 left. Will the atmosphere slow us down a bit? How big is this monument? Can't see it yet. It's, it's here, I guess. Okay, 500. Then yeah, we'll just have to run with it. Let's see what happens. It's there. Well, at least see what it is. It's a face. <laughs> it's a Kerbal face on the surface of Duna. Or maybe it's small though. Oh, we might be too far away actually. The other ones fooled me with how big they were. I can't see what this is. Something over there. Like a little lamppost or tower. We should be on the surface now, right? Yeah. Yeah, well anyway, it's over there. We're three kilometers away. And we don't get any science because we don't have comms. I would have gotten closer if I had comms. Just saying. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, it's over there and we'll have to get to it with something else. But I think I'll leave it here for today. And we will continue adventuring in For Science at a later time. So with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.